And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here he is, the reigning defending champion. He won his last fight by TKO, and he says he thinks he can do the same here tonight. He's not putting any added pressure on himself to get the finish necessarily, but he and his corner have seen some holes on film that they believe they can exploit. We'll see if he can get another emphatic finish and continue his championship legacy here tonight. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And that's how it's done. Go and get that take up. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, go posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his targeting very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Do work with that jab, jab land. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Unable to land with that punch. Nate Diaz in the clinch now, underrated in these clinch situations. And I think a lot of that has to do with just his toughness, his MMA acumen overall. Let's see how he handles this situation here. Under three minutes to go in round one. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Diaz is bleeding from the mouth now, a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. That one's the ball. Big body kick. It's okay, keep going. Oh, nice overhand left. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, big left. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Oh. oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, 
is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, D.C. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209, representing well here tonight. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds around one. the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Connected with a solid strike there. All right, so there's that Nate Diaz. Let's play. You talked about the sneaky. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice leg kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Whiffs on that offering. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Nice shot there by the champ. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Diaz's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Ooh, big shot lands. Good jab there by the champion. He's got to be careful dipping his head. He's hurt bad. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big ground and pound. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, another blow hits that cut. Referee might need to call on the doctor here soon. Oh, big elbow. Diaz gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Takedown defense is there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. 
Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Just misses with that one. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. I need you to get that takedown now. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Diaz is cut on his nose, does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside physician is gonna get called in here in a moment. One minute to go in the round. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, nice. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He, oh, oh, there it is. Dump City. Catch Curtis. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's going triangle here. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. I absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> come around, come around. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Diaz's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has done a whole lot of it. Great block. I mean, that right hand landed square. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. Big kick lands. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now. Oh! Well, no surprise. Right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Got to stop the fight. Yes, and the doctor will do just that. I know the fans don't like it, but you got to tune out that noise if you are the doctor, the referee, and allow him to fight another day. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop for this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO.